Let's take a more in-depth look at internal component design and how flow can assist using this pull heat exchanger. The heat exchanger works by transferring heat from one fluid to another. In this instance we have a boiler which is recirculating hot water around these bronze tubes that the pool water passes through, then around a series of baffles. Setting up the simulation is very straightforward. We just specify the internal analysis option and then specify the fluid we need. One of the great benefits of flow is the built-in library of gases, liquids and solids, making it quick and easy to set up a model. You can also add your own custom materials as needed. In this example we have specified the volume flow rate based on the pool and boiler pumps. The temperatures for the incoming water is also specified. In this case for the boiler, the water is 90 degrees. Flow simulation then allows us to determine the exit temperatures of the pool and boiler water along with a myriad of other results. This is a section view of the boiler water temperature where we can see the inlet temperature is at 90 degrees and then as heat is transferred to the pool water the temperature drops significantly by the time it reaches the exit. Similarly we can focus on the pool water temperature and we see the inverse result. Water enters at 20 degrees C and is heated to around 33 degrees by the time it reaches the exit. If we're interested in more detailed values we can look at those inside flow or even export to Microsoft Excel. You can choose as much or as little information to be displayed as you want. Streamlines are a powerful way of visualizing what is taking place inside the fluid. The effects of the baffles on the flow is clearly demonstrated. ISO surfaces can help us to identify areas of concern or interest. In this instance we're looking for where the maximum flow velocity occurs. It appears that the peak flow is near the outer wall of the container, suggesting that the density of the pipes is restricting much of the flow from the center of the container. This could make it worth investigating adjusting the number and spacing of the pipes to get a more efficient heat transfer. This is just one example of the benefits of using SolidWorks flow simulation in the design environment. To see in more detail how flow simulation can help you, please contact your reseller or visit SolarWorks.com.